Good evening, Sir Chan. This is my repetition on sickness of the death. So, the thesis uh, I would like to argue in this one is that despair arises from a separation from one's authentic self and the presence of God as a profound human condition that affects individuals who have strayed from their spiritual and moral values. And to support those that thesis, I'd like to give three supporting points, and that is individuals that have self-examined themselves habitually don't separate from their authentic self. And second is that spiritual and moral disorientations shall lead individuals to a life without the presence of the divine as well as the loss of integrity to oneself. And lastly is the discrepancy between the self and the authentic self will ultimately lead an individual to devoid of purpose and until the end of their existence. <clears throat> and a personal is experience I would like to add on that is that I once reached a point in my life where I did not regularly self-examine and had forgotten what it means to live a life that involves God, which gave me nothing but despair until I realized that self-examining more frequently gave me a life that is now worth living. Uh, second is that when I reached the age of 15, despair was always in my presence, which never gave me a meaning during my teenage years. Third is that my authentic self was not founded through reading the Bible each day, but rather uh, it was when I realized that no matter how or what we do, we are still in the presence of God. An objection I would like to add to that is that the upper emphasis on individualism neglects the broader perspective on moral and spiritual values. And the second is that authentic self doesn't only mean the Catholic faith and should imply that all religions are welcome to have a life worth living or a purpose life. Third is that the absurdity of existence by Albert Camus. Because what's absurd is that the absurdity in Albert Camus is that uh, even though it's so absurd, he continues to live on and he finds meaning in that sub absurdity. So I'd like to answer those objections. So uh, the overemphasis on individualism because the topic on the self is a basic argument of what individualism is. So it is individualism that involves the self more often. So second is that the emphasis on the Catholic faith is due to him being a Christian. It doesn't necessarily mean that he doesn't want others to have a purpose in life. Third is that despair often comes with the presence of God and the lack of authentic a lack of the authentic life as people who have no faith in doing anything will lead them to anxiety. So my own example for that is that if I question something that relates to myself, only myself, I can answer that. So, and another uh, second one is that being faithful to the Catholic Church doesn't necessarily mean that I do not want others to another religion to have an authentic life and a purpose. <clears throat> Third is that I used to think that church was useless. It would not lead me to, and it will not lead me to a purpose in life. But I realized that to have an authentic life will lead me to a life where I want to go, and that has purpose in it. <clears throat> and to conclude all of this is that despair is inevitable in the journey of life. That has the presence of God and the purpose of our life can be founded within ourselves along the way. And the insight I would like to give out on that is that despair exists, but it should not hinder our authentic selves to be ex expressed or exercised. And the second is that it's never too late to seek for the redemption of God. And third and lastly is if I engage in spiritual acts of reflection and self-examination, I can find myself at a moral transformation. And that may aid me to find a reason or purpose that may be uh, essential to my life. That's all, thank you.